Hey folks, Engineer775 here. I'm pretty excited to bring you this update. I have lost 55 pounds in 55 days. I, yes, I've been tracking it, tracking the details of it, the calories, everything about it. And I'm going to show you in this video, share with you in this video, some of the things I've learned. And a lot of this has been pretty exciting to me. It's like a new frontier. It's like starting off with solar, starting off with installing bunkers. I'm now on this personal health journey that I've never done anything like this before. And so I've always dabbled in it and um, it's been a failure <laughs> in terms of weight loss. I lose a lot of weight and gain it all back. And um, But this time I've never lost this much weight in this short a period of time and feel great about it. Um, haven't had any issues. I just keep feeling better and that's pretty wild. So what have I been doing? I think if you saw parts one and part two of this uh, personal health journey, you know that the main thing is my diet. I hate that diet word. It's really not a diet. I am on strict carnivore. I am totally a cut out all sugars. I will admit publicly that I've been a sugar addict most of my life. My family would tell you how, much, how bad I really am was um, when it comes to sugar. And uh, from a small child, I was kind of the firstborn, uh, first grandchild on one side. And, and I, I just was spoiled and I was given anything I wanted and I wanted sugar. And so everybody indulged me and I just kept eating sugar. So I have been a sugaraholic for a long time. So the amazing thing on this journey, I cut out all sugar. I cut out all carbohydrates and I started eating a carnivore diet. And there's a lot to a carnivore diet. I keep learning about it, how much I can actually eat and different ways to enjoy it. And I've enjoyed it. Uh, the, key, the key to this uh, carnivore thing for me is satiation or um, what's it? satiety. There, satiety. There's a new word. I don't even know the word, but it's being satiated. Um, and so I'm not craving, taking away the cravings that I would have for the Ben and Jerry's, for the Swedish fish, the Tootsie Rolls, and the piles of candy that I would ingest more so than the average human being. And it was pretty bad at times. So I know that uh, by taking that away, I have it's completely changed a lot uh, with how I feel. It changed a lot with the brain fog that I was experiencing. That has been lifted. That is awesome. Um, so I just... This put, I guess putting this on YouTube has held me accountable, which is a good thing. So if nobody watches this or it doesn't help anybody, I guess I'm being selfish and did it for, for myself. But um, I know I've talked to a few people that are, this has kind of kicked them in the butt and kind of motivated them to do a similar thing. So I'm just telling you what worked for me. Got a little bit of information, uh, some knowledge that I've gained, uh, some tools that I've used, and I'm going to just share with you. Um, you can see this. Uh, this is just kind of my history here. I start here about, well, on July 26, I was 330 pounds and it had enough. And I started to kind of keep track of my calories and my fitness pal. But I also knew that I was going to use carnivore as the only calories that I took in. So this is just me when I record randomly weight loss. And so as of today, 55 days on this app, I've had a 55-day streak, so I've been very faithful to fill out my uh, breakfast, lunch, and supper, snacks, and exercise, and I actually timed the Strava app into it. But the majority of what I've done has been food-related, not exercise-related. I'll talk about exercise later, um, the e-bikes, and for guys in their 50s getting back into exercise and trying to do some low-impact stuff is very important, but the most important thing is what you're putting in your mouth. And yes, there's people giving me, you know, grief over um, everything that, you know, just shut your mouth, stop eating. You know, yes, mathematically, yes, less in, uh, <laughs> I'm going to lose some weight. But I want to tell you, you can do this and be miserable. And that's just having that attitude of I'll just stop eating. But not, this is different. I am eating a, a lot of food. I am eating a lot of meat, a lot of protein, a lot of fats, a lot of protein, no carbohydrates, absolutely nothing. I'm looking at labels. And um, even even when I'm out of town, I bring my food with me, I eat my food. Um, we have lunches on site. I don't go out for lunch. The hardest thing is at night going out to a restaurant and trying to find foods that haven't been cooked in vegetable oils. And that's another whole story. 
Um, what I find is I got to spend more money, go to a place like a Japanese restaurant and get stuff that's even not on the menu. Getting beef tataki, tuna tataki, sashimi, um, high quality proteins that hamachi kama, you know, yellowfin tuna cheek and stuff that's, you know, sounds bizarre and you might not like that food. I personally love that kind of food and it's the highest quality food that I can find when I'm out on the road. But um, anyway, I got to go out again and I'm... You know, that's the worst part. That's the challenging part. So I also want to let you know, and it, it'll be in the description. I'm going to put a link in there about some of the things, some of the foods. Just this has been uh, something that, let's see if I can pull this up. This is just uh, approved foods. Um, I'm going to have a link to this if you're curious. This is nothing. It's just free information. Approved foods um, for more. It's more keto related. I have stayed away from a lot of foods even on here. I haven't eaten a salad. I haven't had anything for 55 days. I've eaten nothing but meat related uh, foods. And I know there's people can't believe that. I'm telling you, I've done that. It works awesome. The weight loss. I'm fitting into clothes that I haven't, you know, I wear a shirt that I wasn't able to fit in the day I bought it. It was too small. <laughs> so I'm actually in it. There's Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, RPI, my alma mater. You see my degrees back here on the on the wall. Yes, I actually have a degree, a master's degree in mechanical engineering from Rensselaer. So um, anyway, I bought this shirt, I don't know, seven, eight years ago and couldn't get in it. Now I can get in it. Yay! Um, so, <laughs> so anyway, just been able to, just really enjoy getting back to moving better. 55, just getting 55 pounds off me has helped a lot in terms of the work that I'm doing, climbing ladders, getting out of holes, welding up bunkers, shoveling, you, you name it, raking. So it's a, a new lease on life for me. So this is my personal journey. I'm at a one, I did an update a month ago, 55 pounds. Um, in 55 days, I'm resetting my goal um, down to 225. I want to see if I can get to 225 by the end of the year. I'm not going crazy trying to lose a pound a day. I do feel like things are going to, are, it, it was really fast in the beginning. It's going to taper off, but I'm still staying on the strict carnivore and finding that to be the way that, that works for me. This has opened up a whole world of things for me. You know, I raise cows, I raise chickens, and those are two things I enjoy the most. Steak and eggs. Come on. I, I, have, I have missed the, you know, I ended up making all these gardens and doing all these things. And I'm like, my food actually now, my food now actually eats my food that I used to grow. So does that make any sense? Uh, <laughs> so I have cows out there that are making food, making protein, taking dry forage and grains and things and converting them as a ruminant only can into high nutrition, high density food um, and, and, and usable protein, not crude protein, real food. I'll just call it real food or real for the real, a real human diet. So that's, I've been listening to folks like Dr. Ken Berry, uh, Robert Saivez from South Africa, um, recently Peter um, Ballersted, um, that's been a good one. And there's a lot of other people out there that are very good in this, in this, um, space of carnivore. So I don't know what else to share right now, other than, um, you know, just, uh, out of town struggles, clothes fit and clothes that I haven't worn in a while, just the, the brain fog. I mean, that has been so amazing. And my family said, Oh, wow, you're doing good dad. Or I can actually put my arms around you <laughs> or, um, you know, you're not in a bad mood. You haven't been in a bad mood since you've been doing this. And I was just getting irritable and just grumpy the way I was going before, just horrible. So things had to change, they are changing. Just wanna share with you that you can do the same too. I'm gonna be, you know, if you wanna opt in on this, there's a link I'm gonna put in the description. If you wanna opt in, I'm gonna be sending out five emails that just provide all the information that I'm learning. So. What I'm doing is technically, I'm just, this is a lifestyle. I'm, it's not a diet. I'm just living this way, fully satiated. I'm not technically intermittent fasting, even though I do eat within a six hour window from noon to six. I try to eat within a six hour window and I eat two meals a day, no more three meals a day. I eat two meals a day, no snacking. And my only vice, I guess, is a black coffee in the morning. I, I was putting butter in the coffee. 
I skip doing that. I'm just having a cup of coffee. And then I'll have a cup of coffee maybe in the afternoon. But just that's kind of my weakness is having a cup of coffee. But I don't have any more than two or three a day. And, um, and no snacks. I tried some pork rinds. Mm, not really big on pork rinds. Um, but it was something crunchy and I couldn't believe the amount of protein in them. So anyway, that's it for this update. 55 pounds in 55 days. And uh, we're well on our way to losing our bag of quick crease. So by the next time I do this update, which will be in a month, I should be down to my target weight of 250, 250 pounds. I'm 275 today, and I should be down to 250. So I'm really excited. I hope this helps somebody. Um, just if you got any questions, let me know. Um, also, there's going to be a link to um, Matt Hickson. Uh, might has been my health coach during this um, fun experiment um, on my personal health journey. And I think that's about it. I didn't have, I had made some notes and that was about it that I wanted to share. So I was glad to come on here and just say, hey, I gained 100 pounds. No, I lost 55 pounds in 55 days. And we are on our way to, I think I'm going to hit 225 by the end of the year. I haven't been that there in 30 years. So that's going to be crazy. I'm going to have to buy new clothes or something. Um, or just, you know how you just drill holes in your belt? Um, that'll work too. Um, that's it. I guess that's it. I'm going to sign off here and hope you're all doing well. And um, God bless you. And this is uh, Engineer 775. Just a little bit skinnier. Not skinny yet. <laughs>